The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front, simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars on your monthly bill and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage and is available at Appalachian Wireless. West Care Kentucky and Ash Camp held a trauma releasing event on Friday, May 27th for its residents as a way for them to remember loved ones they had lost. West Care Kentucky is a residential facility in which people struggling with substance use disorder can seek treatment and learn coping mechanisms to detour them from abusing substances. A lot of those residents and a lot of community members have lost loved ones. And today is an opportunity to get a little bit of closure on those events. So uh, the class today are focusing on coping skills and releasing some trauma. So you'll see today some of the events, uh, the, the events are gonna to culminate today with the balloon release. Uh, the balloon release is an opportunity for the residents to just release a little bit of that trauma, get a little closure. Each resident is writing a letter that is going to be to someone that they lost in their lives through uh, addiction, someone who's lost the battle of addiction. The West Care Ash Camp facility is an all-men facility which currently houses 67 men with the capacity to house 112. West Care offers many resources for its residents to help them get back on their feet as they seek treatment. So what we do here in West Care Ash Camp is work on uh, coping skills, work on mental health, work on employment services. So the folks that come in that we call residents uh, they have the opportunity to go through more recognition therapy, motivational interviewing, substance abuse disorder treatment. So we're really focused on helping the individual to get those coping skills to be able to, when they leave here, they've got a way to recognize triggers and to work on that themselves rather than have to uh, lean on us because we're not always going to be there for them. So it's, it's really an inviting community, it's peer support community. We also offer aftercare. So when the residents leave the facilities, we have staff that follow up on employment, on how they're doing with their, with their coping with the substance abuse issues. So that goes on for approximately at least six months. The day's events were all about recognizing and coping with trauma in the hope of receiving some closure. Some of the events of the day included arts and crafts, such as creating paper boats that would later be used in a boat race, as well as sports events such as softball. All of these events leading up to the balloon release in which every resident wrote a letter to a loved one which was tied to a balloon and released to float into the sky. The release of that tension and closure uh, that we feel is very important in dealing uh, with those trauma incidents. Uh, this is a day that we have set aside. Uh, we're having uh, activities that uh, they can feel like that even though they may have been in jail or prison, they didn't get to say goodbye to those individuals. They are now uh, putting closure on that through letters. And we've done this in the past and it's very therapeutic. Uh, it's something that the uh, men here uh, need. They, uh, they need to be able to express and release through an appropriate coping skill. Well, you know, today is especially emotional uh, for a lot of folks. It's a Memorial Day weekend. So, you know, we've got residents and staff as well who are dealing with loss of loved ones through the loss of loved ones, maybe through battling with addiction, but you've got also folks that are this weekend, this Memorial Day weekend, who are remembering lost loved ones who gave their lives, paid the ultimate sacrifice to military service. Uh, so there, there's a lot of emotions. You'll see a lot of smiling faces, and but there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that are carrying a lot of hurt this weekend. We, wow. There's a lot of things going on in the world, and this is an opportunity to get together, have some fun, but also deal with some issues, and hopefully get some closure and some rest and some progress from that, and learn some coping skills, and be part of this community and lean on each other this weekend. Staff and grief counselors were available at the event to talk to residents about their trauma. Residents were also encouraged to look to their peers for assistance to build a community where they could all work through their traumas together. We hear you, you know, and we, we understand, you know, that you're hurting and that uh, we care. So the, the caring part and the trusting part is something that they have difficulty with just because um, that they have been uh, let down, you know, they, they have been disappointed. 
Westcare Ashcamp's trauma releasing event for its residents provided an outlet for those struggling with substance use disorder. With many events to provide these men with new coping mechanisms, the event was a heartwarming display of community and remembrance. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.